Today was our second full day in Busan and I was armed with a tour package ticket to go to five places so I was determined. First stop, we walked to the Blue Line Park which was about 20-25 minutes from our hotel but the sun was not playing. This was about 10 a.m., almost 11 a.m. in the morning, by the way. So the tickets we had was like a package which we got on the Klook app where you are given like sites and places like in Busan and you can pick like two from the zone A and three from the zone B. Now the Blue Line Park, which is the first place we we're going to was I think in the zone B. I can't really remember. But anyways, if you do want to buy this package, I would advise that you do your research, 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 like map everything out so you know which place is close to which place so you know which one to do first. Now, when we got to the Blue Line Park, I actually wanted to go on the Sky Train. I didn't realize it was literally at the same station. So we ended up entering the train below. You see there instead of the one above. I'll definitely be doing this trip again this time around in the sky train because everyone says that watching the coast from the sky train during the sunset is simply amazing. There are different stops on this train and you can get off at any point if you have a site you're interested in or you wanted to stop at a particular portion of the beach. We just rode the line to the end because like I said, we did not have a plan. We were just vibing. It was still cool to watch the coast from the train. At the end of the line, we got to this town and it was giving like sleepy town vibes, nothing much to do. So we just explored the area around the station and went back on the station. At this point, we could have gotten on the other sky train if we knew so we got back on the same train that brought us here now our tickets had like we could go either way if we had stopped at any point our tickets would have expired so definitely bear that in mind it's not like you know free for all stop anywhere join the bus i'll be the train again I did do some research at this point before we got back on the train and realized that the next place we wanted to go to, which was the Samjong Mall, was closer from the other side of the station. That's why we went all the way back. Getting a taxi at the Blue Line Park was also very hard, so make sure you get ready to book your Uber. We got to the Samjong Mall and it is like a 13-story building with lots and lots to do. There are lots of shops here where you can buy your clothes, your makeup. There was even an Olive Young inside here as well. There's a theme park, a space for family, but the theme park you had to have you know, made an appointment ahead of time. We only had tickets for the Laser Arena, which is where Duke wanted to go. So check in there show your tickets wait in line when it's your turn you go in with other you know people duke said he had a good time at the laser arena i waited with daisy while duke went in and did his thing it only took about 20 minutes and yeah so it wasn't much of a wait then on our way out we did some exploring now one other thing about this mall is that the elevator is always full and it will not come on time i didn't even see there are escalators but with daisy in the stroller we couldn't really use the escalator so again if you're with a kid and you have a stroller be in mind that that's going to be a problem then we went to eat on the ground floor we went to the shake shack to eat i haven't eaten at shake shack before but i know of shake shack and i was pleasantly surprised again i think i would definitely rate their burger in the top three of everything i ate this is what the outside of the mall looked like i really liked this area it looked really modern and you know the vibe was was giving definitely we ended up taking our time here we ate our food you know we chilled a bit here but remember that i said we had a package ticket so far we only did two or five so at the point i think about five i was like you know what we gotta go we have to move to the next spot one of the things i was most excited for when we we're picking the things we wanted to add to our package when we we're you know getting our tickets was a cruise so that was our next spot of call we got there to diamond bay and got into the office and asked the guy okay we're here for the cruise he saw our tickets and he was like the only problem we're having right now is that there's some fog outside so we are not sure if the boat is going to you know move so many other people came and joined us and they gave us till like 6 30 that if the fog hasn't cleared by then they were not going to be able to move and indeed it did not clear so we immediately got back in a taxi and went to the next spot which was the busan tower i got there i saw these steps and i was like i don't understand it was late i have a stroller i have a baby you know what let's just go back to the hotel went back to the hotel did what we needed to do and then we hit the street market that is very close to our hotel 
I won't lie, I was disappointed that we didn't get to do the cruise and we ended up doing only two things from the five things we had picked on our tickets. But what were we to do? This was our last full day in Busan. So we just settled in and enjoyed the night market. I have a short, that's a short video on everything we ate at this particular night market. So definitely check that out. It all boils down to the fact that we didn't get as much time as we thought we would have in Busan. I definitely need a Busan do-over. Now that package ticket, which I will show you now on the screen, is still definitely worth it. Just you have to know how to plan well and space it out well. Know what is close to what. Know how many days you're going to spend in Busan. Do not make silly mistakes from the beginning like I did and enter a slow train because all that, you know, ate into the time that we had to spend in Busan. On the screen, you can see the various places from the group A and group B that you can choose when you are booking your ticket. Okay, now that I've given you all those tips back to the original video, I would still rate this day a 6 over 10 because we got to see different parts of Busan from different vantage points. Believe you me, the commute between the two or three different places we did go to was so long, so I felt like we got to see so much of the city. And that will be it for me for this video. I will see you on the next one. Bye.